March the 8th, 1971, the fight of the century, they called it, between let, let you and Joe. Food. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and March, I want to know food. what your thoughts were when you were down on the canvas for the first time in a long time. But I was up quick. <laughs> you were up quick. But you were down. What were your thoughts? How did I get down, man? I don't remember getting hit. I just remember getting up. Uh -huh. I remember being down. And the first thing I had to do was to get up. So I got up. What did you think about your chances of winning the fight? You had one more round to go. Well, I think I was behind then the knock down me more so, so I figured I would lose the decision, which I did. Joe, what were your thoughts at the time when you saw Muhammad Ali go down on the canvas after 14 tough rounds of exchanging punches? What did you think about when you saw him hit the canvas, when you had the shot with that left hook? Well, in the, that one particular fight, we uh, went uh, 14 rounds. I shouldn't have anything left. He shouldn't have anything left at all. But somehow that I had just a little more power uh, to, just to trip him up. Mm -hmm. And I always want to trip him up. I didn't care how I trip him up, but he got up anyway. Uh, I'm trying to figure what made this man stand up, what, what made him get up. But he got just maybe a little more anxiety than the, maybe the rest of us or one to another. Mm -hmm. I had that kind of pressure too to get up and do things. But the 15 rounds in 1971, we both were dead. Mm -hmm. The fights were all over, you know? What did you say to him after that fight? I told him, I said, brother, I kick your ass. I got it. That's what I said, brother, I kick your ass. Because he said, like you said earlier, uh, somewhere in the film, uh -huh. said he said he won't crawl across the ring and say, and kiss your hey, feet. smoke, you the greatest. Right. He tried to get the hell out of that ring as fast as he could. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're telling me that you two... <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask Larry what he was thinking when he was getting ready to fight Muhammad Ali. What were your thoughts that night? I was, I was trying to find out where I would spend my money. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Did your thoughts change at all during the fight? I told him, I said, man, why don't you quit? He said, shut up, boy, I'm going to knock you out. He <laughs> fights. What did they do for you as a fighter? They made me money. <laughs> what do you think they did for your image as a no. fighter? I would say that they, um, well, let's show that I was, I was knowledgeable. I could handle myself. I wouldn't quit. And that I become <laughs> of age. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about yourself? Tell me the difference about how you felt about Ken Norton, the fighter, before the fight and then after you won the Ali fight. The first one? Yes. Prior to the fight. I believed I would win. If, if you go into a fight and think you can't win, you lost. <clears throat> so I believed I would. But after it became a reality, I was <coughs> on cloud 12. Mm -hmm. Nine wasn't high enough. Right. But I was very elated. <clears throat> Tell me about your fight with George. He beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> what was your strategy going into the fight? And how did it change during the fight? Well, I didn't have time to change, but I went and during the fight, I was going to try to stay away a little bit uh -huh. and see what he was going to do. Pick my shots. Hopefully, we're going to the third, fourth round. Then I felt that George was a little tired. As you saw, I didn't go that far. I went in, got a couple of good shots, and that was it. You two never fought. No. Thank God. But it's strange because I do believe that Larry Holmes, for the time being, I think in the future, he's going to get his just dues. This guy, 
was by far one of the greatest boxers of all time. He fought and kept the sport alive when we were all off the scene. He could do all the things that Muhammad Ali could do, and plus, he added a few other things to his repertoire. He could do what I do? Oh, he could I move. I couldn't do the show. He could really move. So are you saying that uh, you think yeah. that Larry Holmes was a better fighter than Muhammad Ali? I think that Muhammad Ali would do other he things could. than fight. Yeah. Yeah. Ali he, he was a master. He was a master. I, I just think uh, that in the gladiator. Man finish. Yeah. I just think Muhammad had a lot of master a lot of gladiator. Mouth. Ali <laughs> finished with his hands. <laughs> yeah. No joke. Ali had the prisoner. Yeah, right. He, Ali, right. Did, Ali didn't pull a rabbit out of his hat. Yeah. Everybody thought it was funny. I didn't funny. see no damn rabbit you know came out that night. I thought it. Yeah, I seen the rabbit come out of the hat. No, I seen the second fight. Had to no, you know, the second fight, he held all night long. But I think the rabbit came out of the hat. The rabbit came out of the hat. But he beat you the the second and the third fight. No, he beat me one. He beat he he beat me that time. He beat you a second yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he didn't beat you a second time. He didn't beat you a second time. He didn't beat you a second time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whether he like it or not, the judges say he's yeah, I don't want to second time. We ain't taking no more. We had, don't we take had no three more, fights. I'm getting a second time. Let's get it. Let's get it. We had three <laughs> fights, you know. He won two and won one. I won one. One, 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 one. I'm ready to get out of here. No, 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 <laughs> they all yeah. got something to say now. Yeah, that's right. Muhammad, when you fought Sonny Liston, just before that, you said you were a little afraid of him. Scared to death. What were you thinking before the fight and then during the fight? I was thinking what would happen if he hit me with his big fist. He had big fists and he hit real hard. And I uh, didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if I could stand up and take it. When, when you mentioned about uh, people not expecting Muhammad Ali to win that championship fight with Sonny Liston. A lot of people didn't know it, but this man mm -hmm. had, was really a, an Olympic gold medalist, light heavyweight, of course. Uh -huh. He had a lot of confidence, a lot of victories. So there were a lot of people giving him that edge because of his quick hand. Uh -huh. So it didn't surprise a lot of people to see him beat uh, Sonny Liston. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Joe Frazier time mm -hmm. came along, he was an Olympic champion. You get those two guys in the ring, two champions through and through for years, Joe Frazier was the one who did throw him anyway. I thought Muhammad Ali was the greatest fighter of all time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then I went to a, a closed circuit film. Some, from, some friend of mine took me to see Joe Frazier fight a kid by the name of Buster Matthews. Uh -huh. And he made it look like big guy, being big didn't mean anything at all. <laughs> so I started thinking maybe I shouldn't be a boxer right at that point. At this time I was already propelled into amateur fight. Uh, but this guy was a machine. He would eat you up. <laughs> and uh, by this time, I won the gold medal. I thought that I could become champion if Joe Frazier would have an accident or something. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I, hoping I, I did said, have a he, did. he ran into him. <laughs> I, I want to ask you this question. Yeah. Muhammad Ali, when he was forced to retire, mm. when he was put in exile. I had not do it. was during his <laughs> best years. <laughs> okay. He fought you after being off for three, four years. That's what they say, but he went right. off. When he came back, mm -hmm. he had time off. If he would have been fighting that time, I he'd have been a, a better fighter. I give him a chance to get two, three fights. You get think he would have handled you easier then? No, it wasn't no, it wasn't no oh, handling to do. It was something different altogether. I See, I he, proclaimed, he proclaimed I that he was one of God's men. Is right. you crazy? Yes, same thing. Uh, <laughs> you crazy? Same thing. He proclaimed that he was one of God's men. I said, we're going to see who God loved better than that. You know what I see? I see this between Ali and Frazier. I, I don't see the fights changing. The same type. Do so you think activity. the outcomes would have been the same? or the If he had had the same, same manager, no doubt. Because he, he brought Joe Frazier perfectly along with the right fighters. So if they had met in the prime and he had had you the know, problem. Same with, thing. 
same result. I, yeah, I don't think anything would have changed. If, if he'd have trained for six weeks <coughs> when the fighters were supposed to train, Ali right. might have been much greater than he were, but we can't, we can't judge that. But uh, while I was there, Muhammad? he trained last two weeks. When I was in the vanilla, I, I mean, in Africa, he only trained for the last two weeks. You know what we talking about. You believe in that? You believe in that? They're saying you only trained two, three weeks for each yeah, fight, and Larry was your sparring partner. He was he trained, Reggie. That's what I'm saying. He yeah, trained, what you been doing? But he wasn't training, training. What you been doing? This is a, this is a thing. This is a thing. <laughs> well, let's have your opinion. Out there. You this trained. I'm saying you trained real hard for two weeks. Oh, let's you were there for eight weeks or ten weeks, mm -hmm. but you didn't train. Like well, you should. Give me your opinion. Now. Well, hey, just, just knock me out. I'm give me your opinion. I've been knocked out before. Speak for yourself. <laughs> what you been doing all the other weeks for? What you talking about, bro? <laughs> what, what are you, you talking, talking about? about? <laughs> no, wait, don't fight it. Peep, 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 peep. What's your peep, 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 I can't hold him anymore. He's strong. What are you fighting? The old man is strong. He's always strong. I'm sorry. I'm not joking. What happened? What happened? I'm not joking. The old man is strong. He's been taking some time off, you know? <laughs> During your prime, Larry, okay, when you were the best you could possibly be, okay, do you think you could have handled Muhammad in his prime? Oh yeah, I'd have tore him up. <laughs> I could tear Mohammed up. Like you no, know, you don't really. <laughs> you the real like reason that. why, Reggie. You see, he yeah, doesn't he believe that. He's already fallen asleep on that. Yeah, no, 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 because I knew. Well, I was a sparring partner for Mohammed in 1971, and I could work good with him without the experience that I had. I was able to block his left jab with this hand. And counter him with a right at the same time. What now that about, was bad. What you do about that question? Get the boxing experts. I mean the experts. No. Mm -hmm. Don't get the boxing experts. But me and you are better experts than them. Me and my friend, Joe Lewis couldn't beat me. Joe Lewis couldn't beat me either. Jack Johnson couldn't beat me. Jack Johnson couldn't beat me either. I don't blame him. Jack Johnson. Is he here? No. All the boxers. Jack Johnson. I could beat all those oh, guys in my prime. The boxers. If, if they would take the book instead of me as as my career go, I would have to be the greatest of all time. You I could, so. Yeah, I could be Muhammad prime? Ali. I could have been Joe Frazier. I, I, I could have been Marciano. I, I could have been, I could have been yeah. Joe Lewis. The only one body. I would have had problems with is Sounds is Jack like Johnson. Me. <laughs> You well, it's strange. I was heavyweight champion of the world, but until I lost the title to Muhammad Ali, people didn't start to... It was then that they started to call me champ. So I felt like a champion forever, ever, ever since I lost the title. Hmm. Ken Norton, a champion? How does it feel to be a champion forever? People like Ali, Foreman, Fraser, and what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Larry. It, it's, a, it's a big plus. And it moves you inside to a plateau you, you can't really come to. You can't explain. And then life in general, it makes you try to accomplish more. I had a pretty bad accident lately. And I think that by being involved in boxing, you know, getting it down and getting back up, it teaches you that life is a struggle. And in life, you have to get on to get back up. Uh -huh. And I've, I've learned that, and with that, with that knowledge, plus the help of the men upstairs, I feel I can do anything, and we can do anything. I appreciate the name champion forever, but I realize nobody can be a champion forever. We have a certain time to reign, and then that comes the end. We might be in the history books forever, but nobody can be a champion forever. If I'm the champion forever, and he's the champion, there can't be but one champion at a time. And we all can be champions forever. We can fight and make a record and then do all we can to live up to that image. So I'm just happy 
for the time that I have. I did the best of my time. Zulus did the best of his time. Marasana's best of his time. And we all can be the best in our time. And I was the best in my time. That's how I look at it. That's something I'm happy. I'm happy that it will be in history that I was the best in my time. Yeah. Hey, God, I love you. Yeah.